What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So the New York Jets, they're not done trying to uh, continuously upgrade this roster, specifically at one of our spots that we are, you know, arguably the weakest at, which is the linebacker group. So it was pretty exciting news when I seen it. Uh, the New York Jets were signing uh, former XFL Defensive Player of the Year, Pita Tamua Pinyu, I think. Who knows? I've been butchering names lately, um, but we recently signed him. He was with the Vegas Vipers in the XFL. Now, they're coming off a 2-8 and eight record, so maybe Defensive Player of the Year needs to come with a grain of salt. Um, you'd expect, much like we've seen with plenty of uh, New York Jets teams of past, uh, that the offense was rarely on the field and the defense was out there, uh, you know, religiously. So, um, for whatever it's worth, I don't really want to take anything away from them. You know, uh, anytime you're Defensive Player of the Year for anything, uh, it's definitely worth celebrating. So, uh, as far as his... Um, um, I want to say commitments. That's not it. But as far as his statistics go for that 2023 season, um, he led the XFL in forced fumbles. He was second in sacks, uh, sixth in tackles for loss. So um, it gives you a pretty good idea that, you know, he was definitely one of the best players uh, in the entire XFL. Now, I'm not fully um, aware of anything going on with the XFL, really. I, I think they have probably somewhere between 10 and 20 teams um i'd imagine uh i know it's gonna be as close to football maybe as you can kind of get outside of the cfl i know they kind of wanted to use it i think this is the rocks league if i'm uh thinking correctly but i know they want to kind of utilize it as a bit of a um how do you put it uh, kind of like the G League of the NFL, I guess, if you will. They they kind of nurture and develop some talent uh, to a certain degree. And then, of course, you, you kind of have somewhat of like a transfer portal to get into the NFL. So makes sense that we're going out and signing a lot of these guys now that their seasons have ended. Uh, I've been seeing a plenty of others. Uh, we just picked up another CFL player in the defensive tackle uh, position as well. But uh, Pizza is interesting because he actually has some former NFL experience. Now, he went from the University of Utah to being a six-round pick of the 49ers in the 2017 NFL Draft. And then after finishing the 2019 season, he kind of bounced around, went to the Cardinals, went to the Seahawks, Falcons, Broncos. Um, have, didn't really stick for a reason, right? There wasn't a lot of uh, exceptional performances by any means. I think I saw he had, I want to say it's five tackles and about 11 games of experience. So he at least is familiar with the setting and the background. Hopefully his XFL experience um, has allowed him to really go out there and develop to a certain degree. But it's exciting some of these depth pieces we've added recently between uh, our, our new guy here in PETA. Um, and then you're talking about the, the two recent uh, pickups as well, Sam and uh, Nick Vigil. Um, I'm kind of excited for the, the, the back end of things. We definitely progressed uh, pretty quickly. Malik Hall was one of my favorites, but he was a far cry uh, from making the roster right. Ideally, uh, it seemed like we were kind of already um, locked into who we're going to pick, right? CJ Mosley, uh, Quincy Williams. You had Jamie and Sherwood, who's essentially taking Quan's position after he was officially signed. Uh, and then you're talking about Zaire Barnes, the recent draft pick as that fourth guy and then the fifth one was the one that was realistically up for grabs if we even decide we want to try to carry five uh and my bet was going to be on a guy like malik hall so we'll see how things pan out now uh zaire lock uh barnes isn't necessarily a knock uh a lock excuse me anymore to make the roster um you know there's a history with joe douglas not cutting his uh his round his draft picks in the first round but Anything can happen, uh, especially in this setting, this un, uh, unknown territory for us, at least in, since the Rex Ryan days. And we know those were rosters heavily, um, you know, laced with with uh, free agent signings all over the place. Very low homegrown talent. So um, new territory for the New York Jets. We'll kind of see how Joe Douglas and Robert Sala decide they want to navigate these particular waters. But an awesome pickup for us nonetheless it couldn't have come at a better time either because we're just getting ready to jump into uh joint practices with the carolina panthers um so if he can show out immediately that'll look very good for him uh being able to make a surprise uh addition to the 53 man roster but let me know what your guys thoughts are and i'll catch you again peace yeah.